Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to upload and set the the files to read JSON files that you you have loaded to the custom file. It's really simple actually. You got your CFG gameplay dot JSON file uh, here. This file. So you open it or you can download it and then re-upload it. And just type this. It's too common. This this is with shift two, shift and the the key the, the number two, and then type custom slash the name of the file dot JSON. And that's it. If you want to add another one, just after this this comma, you press a comma and then again shift two custom slash the name of the file to so you gotta put this between these tags always between these tags so that's that's a first and uh, then you gotta go here you you're gonna upload it to here so you can this um this is a server I'm coding. It's a lot of server. I know this is called Amazon. That JSON. You copy the name and you paste it here. The name is the one. You can do the same and crash up, for example. So that's it. There's always this. I don't know how this this one's called. This little comma here, yeah, custom slash and the name of the file with the JSON extension included. It is always be, had gotta be the exact name and to separate between multiple files, just a comma, not a space. Space is wrong. Always comma, nothing else. Well, uh, you upload here the files, yeah, the custom folder, and when you load it, you can select the files you want to upload. And most important, some people miss this. You gotta go to the general settings of you of your server and go to the bottom where it says enable enable CFG gameplay.json. You gotta turn it out so you can read this file. This file we did it now, the CFG gameplay.json so it so the game reads it. This is a 1.18 version of the file, so there's a lot of things you're gonna see in your files that they are not here like the <coughs> the inertia uh, settings that's gonna be like here don't worry about it so you press enable cfg gameplay.json save the file save the changes then restart the server and you're gonna have your uh, your your json files spawned in the game it's really simple actually not that big of a deal okay i just wanted to show you that see you later guys